Thank you, I'm a speaker. Uh, firstly, uh, it's really uh, important, it's really good to see the uh, minister giving uh, an update on what's happening in the DPM, Department of Personal Management, uh, the update and the progress that's been happening. Uh, uh, I believe that firstly, uh, I see an implementation of the uh, corporate plan of 2019 to 2022, which uh, when we were there, we launched this particular plan, and I, I thank the minister and the Maraparosa government, government for, for committing to implementing this particular plan. And I want to thank the secretary for DPM and the team for making sure that uh, they are getting, or they are uh, making sure that this plan is implemented by, by, by the current government. Uh, which the opposition fully supports. Uh, my, my few comments are firstly, with regard to, I commend the government for, for paying the retirees, the public servants who, who actually uh, met their, uh, their, their compulsory retirement age, and many, many of them were actually in the system and were paid for, for some time. Uh, it's really important to see that they are now being uh, paid, and I see uh, a figure of 3,226, uh, total of them being paid, a total amount of 178 million kina. It's a commitment, and we'd like to fully commend the government for this. And plenty of workmen only start before yet. Only reaching retirement age blow, only will start yet, only wait long time for the money. Now, we'd like to thank you through on behalf of uh, the opposition side. We, we commend the government for this important measure. And I believe there are many more who are still in the system that need to be, uh, need to be also uh, paid through the same system as well. Uh, second point, Blomi, Mr. Speaker, with regard to the performance uh, management system for the uh, departmental heads, uh, it's one of the areas that uh, I, I was actually vocal about. I uh, said so that we can continue to appoint people into the uh, respective positions, but it's a totally different thing altogether to actually see whether they're performing or not. Uh, and I mean, thank you, through also, like you're making me at this top. Uh, we have a system in place to assess the performance of public servants, and we'd like to see that the point to see or to, to, to make sure that at the comment, at the public servants who do not perform or who continue to score a three out of five uh, despite uh, several assessments being done, uh, there's a comment there that says that they uh, must be terminated for, for non-performance. And I believe that we can do this. If we can tighten up some of the systems, I believe that we can uh, continue to see improvement in the public service machineries. Another point, Lomi, uh, I see that the, uh, the, the, the personal monuments, uh, if uh, uh, it will be really good to, today to see a report on the, uh, the uh, agencies that are, that are complying or they are meeting, or uh, they are actually expanding within their personal emoluments targets for budgets. Now, some law agencies were only in a work long, only a collaborative mark. If you, can, if, you, if you can actually see that kind of list, one in the department where work law stop inside, now, now work long uh, are meeting all target law or personal emoluments every fortnight. Now, one in all departments where only a collaborative mark, and uh, one in all penalties by department by making long haul. I believe these are some of the things that we can actually see. So we keep a track and a track of uh, this uh, continuous, uh, continuous uh, explosion of the pub public sector work, uh, personal emoluments that uh, my uh, chairman, the public sector reform commission, the, sorry, the public sector reform and service delivery uh, chairman, uh, Honorable Gary Chufa, continues to talk about and we continue to see this as an important thing that we need to do. Uh, I support the minister's comment with regard to the increasing uh, need for, for, for workers in the health sector and the uh, education sector. Uh, there's more demand out there. When we see a lot of more uh, health facilities constructed, uh, you will see that there are plenty of requests that come through low DPM, long approval, more structures, long haul. And one of them is Pomeo District Hospital that is under construction. And there's an there's a approved structure already by DPM. Now I'm on the long haul way by Lugo Sigat Sala funding and a treasurer. I sit down and stop. Me asking the legal treasurer or committee in Salah funds uh, today. Me want them uh, uh, the good minister for health. We went to to see the new cancer facility at the PMCH, and they also requesting for for some staff also. Lo la lo menim this la kudla instead of our cancer facility lo next year. Now me believe also the minister will some report will come this week or sometimes this week. We can also discuss that and make sure that the government make a commitment to fund these important important uh, services with regard to uh, health sector in our country. Mr. Speaker, thank you, Lord Minister, Lord Harem today. Uh, also, we got the welfare, now health and safety now, all public servants. It has been a concern. It is also an implementation of the, uh, uh, the uh, corporate plan for 2019 to 2020 to DPM corporate plan. 
and one plus something where plenty of public servants employ me will contribute every fortnight, but many of them are actually sick in the hospitals. And uh, it, is, it is an important intervention, and I, I, we look forward to making cities become materialized quickly and looking like a map. Mr. Speaker, lastly, point for me, one plus something, or the area that I want to uh, give my uh, view and which actually uh, not fully supporting the minister is, uh, is uh, when the uh, Section 45 of Public Service Management Act was, was uh, presented to Parliament last year, uh, that Mr. Toklo, uh, public servant, who started like contesting elections, Almost uh, resigned two months early. Now, so they may lose him election, but he must tap out five years past them. Now, behind the only can join him can or apply again in public service. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sorry, the acting speaker, this is a point that's all. I don't know how long. I don't know how long. I'm asking can minister in a only look look long again. I make an amendment plan again. There's about 70 public servants. You know, all these public servants were only stuff at a higher level. You know, illegal land tumble frontliners who actually resigned to contest the elections. Many of them have gone through many, many qualifications, and they are many, these are our most experienced public servants. Some belong all them, all lecturers belong all universities or tertiary institutions, which I actually called some, called some calls from them. Uh, they need to go back. They need to go back and, uh, and be accepted again in the system. But then this law, it calls them only by waiting for five years. I don't think this, is, uh, this, is, this, can, be, uh, this can continue to go on. I me believe also in my asking my kid, again the minister and the government uh, re review in this like, section 55 long uh, no can put him no can align public servants like come back again the system or come up public servant again uh, review like again so that, that that law is become flexible they can uh, join the public service whenever there's a position that is vacant or available and only apply and get the position through a merit based election process and give him again now uh, and that's all me no am as long in uh, i give my uh, negative view on that now me me ask him also my uh, in that minister, the government only look look at Section 55 of the Amended Public Service Management Act, now making the ladies again, now rousing slur, so that public servants can revert what was happening in the past. The only, the only successful and successful elections, uh, whenever time there's a position where you're applicable long haul, uh, they can always apply and reconsider back into some of these positions. And that's all me like making the tinti long end, plenty of all health, and all, all, all doctors to apply, some of them, all you will find in working staff. While Ausik Blohimi will find him a workman, the work is up, uh, plenty of trolls up. Now, I ask him also, Kudla Minister, you're doing a lot of good things. And I believe that uh, uh, considering uh, this, uh, many of the public servants who have been uh, gone through that particular uh, experience and getting a lot of qualifications and a lot of funding support given to them, uh, some reviews can be done so that we consider these public servants back into the system. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank you, Kudla Minister. Lord, continue the work you make in the public service, Blohimi. Thank you.